Welcome to another episode of me taking apart a car and fixing the other car. Now this is the parts card that I got. Um, bought this for $500. It's a LS automatic. Not bad condition. Not bad, as you can see. Body's pretty straight. I will be taking this door this fender, this front bumper, maybe the lights. The light doesn't look too good, but that's the only thing I have right now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep the ring, so I'm gonna resell it or whatnot. On my Integra, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep the molding spooned or leave it black. I don't know. I'll can't decide. And also, I might be putting this back on just because it's pretty correct. It's a 94. This is what I'm doing with. I noticed the ignition switch on this one's smoother, so I might take it and just rekey the whole car. Then here's that shape. I mean, the seats are all ripped. Right now, I'm using the storage. For this episode, we're gonna remove the front bumper. If I can get to it, the fender, and maybe strip the door. Um, but for now, the front bumper, you got these screws right here, and there it goes all the way around. Now, these screws are tight. Don't use the number two, because the number two, although it looks like it will fit, it's got that little bit of play. What you really need to use is a number four. See a number four. Oh, nope, I lied. Number three. See a number three. Notice that there is no, and it just loosens it with ease. So, you can try to use this, which I'm not gonna try to put much force. It's well, I loosened it earlier. So you can try to use this right here. So it's gonna want to strip like that. I don't want to put any force into it because I don't want to strip it. So what you need, the number three fits in there much better. That's why sometimes when you see this thing's all stripped out, it's because they use the number three. You see the difference between a number three and a number two? I'm gonna try to get it to focus better. There you go. Now, you will need to take this off. Well, I'm gonna take it off because I'm gonna try to repaint this bumper. Uh, there's a screw underneath here. And then there's some two tents on the bottom. And then the, the mud guards, goes, there's a screw on the bottom right around here. So you need to take those off, the connectors, for the light. And then the bumper should come right off. Uh, you also need this 10 mil right here. This is this bracket comes with the bumper. It's clipped on. Um, yeah, let me get to that and then come back. Okay, folks, bumper is removed. Um, as I was saying, screws right here, 10 millimeter. All the screws, remember, number three screws. You got this screw right here and a plug right here. You just twist off. Um, a little something I didn't see before. Looks like they hit a parking stop. This is bad. Uh, which should be a problem. It's not that hard to bend this thing back or you can replace this. If you ever encounter this in your car and you want to fix it, you just Get yourself a radiator support, lower part. Drill out all the spot welds all around. It goes all the way up to right around here. Spot welds, spot welds. Of course, you have to remove the radiator and AC condenser. 
spot wall right here. This should come out. Um, and then you weld your new one back in. Uh, so, next thing is we're gonna take this fender off. Now with this fender, you have all 10 millimeters right here. You're gonna have two of them behind this, so this has to come off. And then you have one right here. And then you got all this screws that runs up around here. Though. Basically, this is in place. So, first thing you gotta do is take this off. Take this off. You got plastic screws underneath. Those are those trim screws where you, more than likely they're not gonna wanna come out because they're plastic. So, you just get yourself, if it doesn't come out, get yourself a pair of dikes. Pry them out, they come down. Once that's done, don't try to pull it straight out because you'll just break the clips. What you need to do is push this this way. Once you push it that way, this will fall out. Then you can twist off all the clips so that way you don't break any clips. Let me put the camera down, get the screws underneath there out, and then right before I push this forward, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Yes, I know, I really need to get a tripod. So that way I can work with two hands. Okay, all right, right back. Yeah, so I went ahead and removed this plastic panel too since I removed the screws here. Uh, I forgot to say, there's two screws. One right there and one right there. Oh, this one holds it to the body. This one just holds the piece. Now this, like I said, don't pull it out this way because You'll just rip up all the things. Probably ruin your ruin your body. What you need to do is just brace yourself, push it forward. See how it went forward that little bit? See now this. Once you do that, you just gotta be a little bit more. Well, the reason we push forward, you see all these little clips. Kind of focus. Okay, you see all these little clips. Okay, the camera keeps going out. I keep hitting the button. Okay, so basically, these clips, pull this out. They're in there. You just twist them that way and you pull them out like that. And that's how these clips are on there. Now, on here, you simply just slide them back on. Let's do one more. Okay. See the clips? Twist them. Okay. Kind of like an angle. And then they just pull out. Now, you just simply. That's why you push it that way because the way these things are, it'll go that way and it'll release itself from the clip. Try to pull it out straight back, you'll just break all these clips. Or you can break this or it's in this, then out. Okay, now I'm gonna do the other side and we'll come right back. Okay, folks, now it's time for the fender. As I said, there's all this one. Three 10 millimeter bolts. You got that one right there. You got two down here, right by the door. And you got that one. Then the fender should come out. Now, this fender is real flimsy, so be careful when you're pulling, prying it out. You don't want to put too much force on it or you're going to end up deading it. Okay, let me get the work and I'll be back. Good. Okay, folks, there you have it. I got the parts that I need. I got this thing. The other one has it, but this one looks better. Um, the two splash shield, which I don't have. Bumper. The bumper lights. The headlights, I don't know. I'm going to keep it on here. I might not actually use it. I'm gonna try to work on this, but I gotta do some other work, so maybe this will be set for tomorrow, so stay tuned. Um, 